With all his muscles, it's hard to imagine Arnold Schwarzenegger as anything but the Terminator. But inside the rippling torso beats the heart of a very different Arnold, as our Gene Wolfe found out. The muscles that got Arnold Schwarzenegger the title Mr. Universe have also pumped plenty of power into the box office. Ever since he rode to international stardom as Conan the Barbarian, he's been at the center of the action. What's the secret of Arnold's success? The co-stars of his latest film, Kindergarten Cop, think they know. He could be Cactus because he's from evil villains because he has strong, strong muscles. Knock, knock. He's, he's big, but it's like he's fun. He's a very fun guy. He has a good sense of humor. Remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? That's what made you. You did. I lied. What'd you do with Sally? I let him go. He's a really nice guy. Wait a minute. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Nice Guy? The body basher who just grossed over a hundred million in total recall is acting with five-year-old kids in kindergarten cop? Has the mighty Arnold gone soft? I always wanted to do a film with children. Because I knew the way I am when I'm around kids. I am a totally different person. You know, you, 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 you go in your office and you act tough and you're on the phone and you make the deals and you scream at people and tell the secretary off and all this. Thing. But as yeah. soon as I'm around a kid, all of a sudden all this changes and you become a softie. Right? In Kindergarten Cop, Arnold is John Kimball, a tough detective on the trail of a killer. And to catch the bad guy, he has to go undercover teaching kindergarten. What's the matter? Oh, I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. In a picture like this, and increasingly in your films, you are giving away more of yourself, giving a more personal performance. And you saw that this was a chance to do this in this film? I felt that the kindergarten cop was the chance uh, to use the children to get this kind of uh, uh, performance out. It is, there's this gentleness coming out. There's this sweetness coming out. There's all kinds of vulnerability coming out and all those things. And I always felt that if that could be on the screen, then the, the, the viewers, the people that you want to entertain out there could see something else that they've never seen about you before. Arnold's biggest challenge to deliver his best came in the romantic oh. scenes with Penelope Ann Miller. And director Ivan Reitman, who discovered Arnold's comic talent in Twins, knew the risk he was taking. I said, you know, I've never seen you in a real romantic scene in a movie. I've seen you with girls, <laughs> but I've never really been convinced in any romance that you've had. I've, I've never really thought there it was real. Even Arnold wouldn't deny that in some of his other films, he had trouble relating to the opposite sex. Are you going to kill me or something? No. I suppose you wouldn't tell me if you were. Sure I would. Really? Trust me. You wouldn't hurt me. After all, we're married. Consider that a divorce. The scenes he does with you are the quietest and perhaps the riskiest scenes I think he's mm -hmm. ever played on the screen. Definitely. I think that, for him, was probably the most challenging of his work in, in Kindergarten Cop because, you know, would Arnold be able to play a romantic lead in a film? And he's always played something different than that. And once I met Arnold, I realized that Gosh, he has all those qualities. He's romantic. He's sexy. What? Um, you got a little mustache. Oh, it's from the milk. This character is close, close to who Arnold is in some ways, you know. Pamela Reed plays a cop recruited to masquerade as Arnold's wife. What do you want to know? Well, how long have we been married? A long time. This way people don't expect us to talk much to each other. Arnold's very tender. Very tender. Very soft. I mean, look, Maria Schreiber is a very smart lady. She would marry a guy who was just the Terminator. You know what I mean? It's the best thing that ever happened to me is getting married and having kids. And I love my daughter and I spend as much time as I can with her. She's almost a year now. Uh, and uh, so I think I'm a great father, but I mean, uh, of course, I take on the challenge as it comes, and you know, each year 
uh, different challenges with the child. You seem to be having the greatest time at most everything you do. So many people reach their goals and then go crazy from it because they don't they don't know how to enjoy that. What's your secret of keeping of keeping the joy in all of that? My bottom line also is not to be a star. It's just to make good movies and to entertain people. I'm the happiest guy that when I go out there in the world or in America and people come up to me and say, I loved your movie. That was so funny. That was great. That to me is the payoff. When, the, when I get a response for uh, the work that I've done, the impact that I have had, that makes me happy. First, I would like to just get to know you.